Okay, so now we're gonna clean our door. So this is what our Pamper Chef door looks like. Um, as you can see, maybe a little bit, there are little bits of like grease stains and stuff right here, okay? So, and you can kind of see them down here at the bottom. So first thing we're gonna do is go and rinse all the crumbs off. So I'm gonna go take it to the water and just rinse the crumbs, okay? Okay, so we just literally just rinse the crumbs. And if you have the sprayer attachment, I recommend using it because it already looks cleaner just rinsing the crumbs off. But as you can see, there are lots of stains. As you guys can see, those little bits of oil stains. So like I said, the Scrub Daddy kits are amazing. So this is the Scrub Daddy, uh, or Scrub Mommy of the Scrub Daddy collection. And when I tell you, it's an amazing, amazing product. Now, like I said, with all Scrub Daddy products, do not saturate them with water, just dampen them because the scrub side works best if it is solid, if it is firm, okay? You can see that it's not, you don't squish it like a regular sponge, it's very firm. And this is the side that you wipe, that you wanna wipe with, okay? Now, the other thing that you wanna use to get the stains off is gonna be Scrub Daddy's Power Paste, okay? I don't know about the other stuff on the market because this is the only thing that I tried and it was phenomenal. But like I said, if you um, saturate it with water, you're not gonna have a good result or you're not gonna have the best result that you can have, okay? I accidentally got water in here because my Dawn dish soap spilled. So I accidentally got water, but it's usually a dry paste. So it's not usually as liquid, but it still works, okay? It still works. You can buy it on Amazon. You can also buy it on um, their website, scrubdaddy.com, and just search all their products. Um, amazing. So this is how we're gonna use it. I'm gonna show you firsthand how I use the power paste to get the stains off. When I tell you my um, door was so nasty that I bought another door for the Pamper Chef air fryer. I bought another door because it was just gross. I couldn't figure out how to clean it, but I saw a lot of videos saying, try this, and I did. So. Like I said, you're gonna use cold water, a damp little bit of cold water. For this, you don't even need soap because we're not just cleaning it yet, we're just scrubbing it off. You can use soap and clean it later, okay? So here we go. So I literally just damp and ran it under the water one time and that's it. Now you're gonna take it and you're gonna dip it into the power paste, okay? And it's gonna usually be solid. It should be like really solid. Mine is kind of wet because there was water in there. So ignore that because it's not supposed to be wet. It should be very solid, okay? Um, and, and so what you're gonna do is take it here. If you guys can see, I wanna make sure you guys can see the little oil stain. They're very faint because I just cleaned it like a couple weeks ago to get the oil stains off, okay? But nonetheless, you're just gonna scrub it. And because we don't know where the oil stains originated from, or um, and they're hard to see, I'm just gonna scrub the whole thing, okay? So you just put some elbow grease into it and just scrub it and just go down all the way around. Okay, just go all the way down. Put some pressure, put some light pressure on it. Okay, keep going all the way around, put pressure, scrub it. If there's any dirt and grime, anything oil-based or anything like that, it's gonna come up, okay? And if you see an area that has it, just focus, focus it on that area, okay? Focus it on that area. When I first had it, it was so stained you would not even believe. If I can find the photos of it the first time that I cleaned it, I'll share those photos. Look at that, okay? So this is amazing, okay? Y'all saw the little bitty stains. It wasn't a lot, but you saw what was there. So now you're gonna take the other side that's not wet, okay? 
and you're just going to wipe, literally. Just wipe the paste away. It's gone. The oil stains are gone. That's it, it's that simple. Wipe it away. Wipe it away. Wipe it away. Make sure there are no more oil stains. Like I said, this is pretty uh, clean. So there wasn't a lot of oil stains on it. But if there are any, just wipe it away and then go to your sink, use your soap, wash it as normal. Um, use the sprayer, if you have the sprayer, use the sprayer so you can avoid getting water on the insides. Um, if you have tape, you can take a damp cloth and wipe down here and then get some type of tape and tape it and then go ahead and clean it that way to protect it from getting water on the inside. Um, but look at that, y'all. All the oil, little oil spots. And I mean, it was, it looked rusted. It was so oily. I was ready to throw it away. And I was like, let me try this product. But here's the other thing about these products that are amazing. And I am not an affiliate. I just found the products and love them. And so I want to tell you why you need to use them. And they don't damage your Pamper Chef products, okay? They do not damage the products. So for me, because I use Pamper Chef and they last, and have lasted over 30 years in our house, 30 plus years, amazing. Rinse them off to where they should turn back, depending on what you use. And when I first used it, it was black. It was like almost black. I rinsed it off, got the stain out, and then put it in the top rack of your dishwasher. Put it in the top rack of your dishwasher and regular use it and it'll sanitize it and be clean. Okay, so when I tell you they're amazing products, now they are not gonna be your dollar store, $1 sponges, but they last. I bought a $40 pack on their website that included all these products. They even have products for your phone, for the screen on your phone, for your glasses. They know what they're doing, okay? They know what they're doing. Their products work. But let me tell you again, what happens if you saturate the sponge in water? You will not get the desired results, so don't do it. And when you do wet it, just wet damp the scrubbing side, not the sponge side. On this sponge, don't wet the side, just wet this side. Why? Because you're just going to use it to wipe, okay? If you want to use a sponge to clean, use this sponge after you've done your scrubbing, then put soap and you can actually clean with this sponge. The benefit is you can sanitize them. Now, I know that a lot of professional cleaners on YouTube are now using them professionally. If you're gonna use them to professionally clean, throw them away, okay? If you're not just using it at your house, throw them away. Now, I have used these sponges, not these exact ones, but I bought a kit that had like 10 different sponges in it. So I use them in the bathroom, I've used them in the kitchen, on my Pamper Chef appliances, and it's amazing, okay? So thank you so much, y'all. I'm gonna go ahead and finish washing this with soap um, just to get the power paste off, and that's it. And technically, based on the um, the results, you don't even need to use soap, just rinse it and it's, and it's good. But because it comes in contact with food, I'm gonna do the extra. But if you were just doing it in the bathroom, you don't have to go over it with soap, just rinse it with water, you're done. That's how amazing these products are, all right? And then I will do another video so you can see the final put together of my air fryer clean.